Rest it back with the J News with Gaijin Views. We start today with a pretty amazing story as a 39 year old mother strangled to death her 18 year old son. Um, now, I researched into this a little bit more because as soon as I saw that, I thought, wow, was the 18 year old, did he have some kind of like physical limitations or was there something restraining him or was he sick at the time or what was going on? Perfectly healthy, normal 18 year old man strangled by 39 year old woman. Now I don't know what kind of shape you were in when you were 18 or if you're 18 now or younger than that but I do remember how I was at 18. I had just finished four years of cross country and track and field and a pretty rigorous workout almost every day at high school. Uh, I tended to be in pretty good shape at that point and if my mom who was definitely older than 39 at the time uh, had tried to strangle me, I, I definitely think I could have fought back. Uh, not, not that my family was ever so dramatic to ever place us in that situation, but uh, even my 39-year-old 39, 39 version of my mother, could she strangle me when I was 18? I, I don't think so. It's just... <clears throat> and I'm not like a huge, big, muscly dude. Uh, you know, most Japanese people do tend to be on a more slim side, uh, which I can understand, but that goes for the women, too. Uh, you know, they don't tend to be you know, big, humongous, you know, uh, she vulkings either, you know, like, so I'm wondering what, how this went down, it's, it's kind of strange, I'm, I'm imagining more details are going to show up later, maybe he was sick, maybe, you know, she had some sort of mental disease going on too, which could have put her in some sort of adrenaline rush, who knows, we, we need to learn more about that story. Next one up is a bit of a sad one, uh, but something I see commonly and something that I, I kind of worry about here in Japan is not a necessarily an epidemic, but something I see often. A uh, three-year-old kid was hit in a parking garage after running ahead of his parents. Uh, the driver of the car was arrested, but quoted as saying that he couldn't see the kid coming at all, that he m merely ran from behind a corner as he was turning left and exiting the parking garage, which I can totally understand. First of all, Parking garages in Japan, crazy narrow. Like, you cannot see the next car coming, let alone a small three-year-old child, until you almost make a full 360-degree turn around that come down from the garage. Now, I have seen many a time, and not just parking garages at grocery stores or movies or whatever, but many different ones all over Japan where people just let their kids run through there. That parents are talking or, you know, someone's looking at their cell phone and they let the kid run ahead. I never let go of my kid's hand the second I exit a store. The second I have a road or any place with moving vehicles anywhere close to either of my kids, my other son's three, no, he's gonna be four next month, no, two months, sorry, well, I gotta get better at learning my kid's ages. Um, I would never let go of his hand. I, I probably won't let go of his hand until he is like maybe 10 almost. I mean, quite honestly, I just, there's, a lack of vision, there's a lack of sight. It's not necessarily that driver's fault. A kid is small. He's below the windshield of a driver. He's below the sight. You know, they don't have invisible windows, invisible doors that let them just see out clearly, you know, a full 360, full 180 degrees in front and back of them. They, they don't have the full vision that we have as walking people. We shouldn't expect that. Um, at the same time, I don't want to put all the blame on the parents. I wasn't there for the situation. I don't completely know what happened. It could be something totally different, and this could be total driver negligence too. I realize that. I consider that. Uh, you know, don't me don't say I'm victim blaming here, because I'm not. Um, the next thing is, um, oh, a very little interesting story. Probably all of you will like to hear a little bit about this one. I, I always like to try and end on a positive note now because uh, that's what people have been. Uh, clapping for, rooting for, and saying they're left with a good feeling. So I'm going to try and do that again today. Shigeru Miyamoto. Who is he? I'm sure if you know a little bit about Nintendo, you know that he is Mario's creator. That's right, Super Mario Brothers. He has been talked to about making a full-length feature Super Mario Brothers movie. Now, I'm not talking, you know, with Dennis Hopper as King Koopa type Super Mario Brothers movie. I'm talking about uh, an animated film. And he said in the past he had been asked about that and totally laughed it off because at the time the technology was not up to par, which I can completely uh, understand. I don't think anyone wanted to see an 8-bit Mario movie with him jumping around with what possibly could be a mustache, but we're not really sure because it was just a bunch of black pixels back then. Um, now he's saying he is considering it due to the fact that he had recently made some movies for his character's Pikmin. 
you know, those tiny little leaf head guys that run around and have all kinds of adventures in their micro world. Uh, he has made very small short films for them uh, and worked with animators on those. And now he is not necessarily in deep talks or anything, like nothing's set in stone, that's for sure. But he said if it was brought to him in a way in which he was like, oh, okay, wow, that's a really great idea, he would consider it now working on a Super Mario Brothers movie based in animation and in the world of Super Mario. So that, that sounds interesting. I, I would see that. I would see that. Um, I am not a massive Super Mario Brothers fan, but I do have a huge amount of passion set in the nostalgia of that Mario world due to the fact that I played it from the second it came out. I bought the first NES. Uh, I played from 8-bit Mario to up to, I guess, the latest Mario now. Um, so I will always be a Mario fan and I will love to see a movie made about that if it was done correctly and by its original creator who actually understands the world, not a place where dinosaurs are trying to be brought back by a guy who's trying to de-evolve humanity. Yeah, that was the that was the synopsis of the Super Mario Brothers movie with uh, John Louis Guzamo and uh, Dennis Hopper, a, a really bad movie. I highly recommend it if you want to see something that is a catastrophic failure in the film industry. Anyway, until next time, that is the J News with Gaijin Views. If you like what you saw here today, please like, comment, and subscribe. Help share the videos if you want to see more subscribers and the news grow bigger. Until next time, I am unrested.